Beijing is hosting an international forum, a conference focusing on international security and defense. One of the issues being discussed is maritime security and the ongoing South China Sea dispute. Chinese officials have stressed the importance of managing these disputes through dialogue and cooperation. CCTV's Han Ben reports. China's maritime frontier, also an international flashpoint. With competing claims by many countries, the South China Sea disputes are key security issues. Because it is a strategic significance overlaid with territorial disputes uh, and the strategic significance of the region with uh, sea lanes of communication through this region, then it, it takes on greater significance. Uh, Due to the pursuit of marine resources and the increasing U.S. pivot to Asia, the South China Sea disputes have developed from the original disputes over island and surrounding waters to a geographical contest of politics and interests, resource exploitation and navigation control, involving both the claimant and the non-claimant states. Differences also remain in how to resolve the disputes. All states who have claims in the South China Sea signed the Convention on the Law of the Sea. So it would seem to me that that seems to be a logical basis for uh, moving forward. China holds to resolve the disputes on the principles of respecting historical facts and the various international laws, not just the convention. China is the first country to discover and name these island groups. The history of continuous use and exercise of authority spans hundreds of years. Besides, the convention cannot resolve territorial disputes. There seems to be no clear road to resolution. Can cooperation be taken first? It is possible. It's not easy. One example would be, would be to create a joint uh, fishing zone in the South China Sea without prejudice to any country's claims, but it would include most of the waters of the South China Sea. States could then have quotas for fishing in that area, and they could jointly uh, conduct uh, law enforcement patrols to uh, ensure that there's no illegal fishing. I think a useful way to cooperate would be uh, dealing with incidents at sea, such as an oil spill or a civil maritime disaster. And that's a good platform for uh, the navies and the coast guards and the maritime agencies of the region to actually um, operate together, uh, to focusing on perhaps a natural disaster or a, or a man-made disaster in the region. Shelving differences and seeking common exploration has been China's policy. But it's hard to find an area that all sides agree is disputed. So common exploration is difficult to realize now. China is speeding up its consultation with ASEAN members to reach a code of conduct, a consensus and an action principle, so as to effectively control potential crises. Nothing can change the claims or stop the consolidation by all sides. The South China Sea issue will be a long-term challenge for all. During the security forum, Defense Minister Chang Wanchen says China wants to enhance dialogues and manage disputes with its neighbors. It's a clear message that the country wants a resolution through peaceful means. In the face of many of the heated issues, the country is working towards building trust with all countries that have claims in the South China Sea. Han Bin, CCTV, Beijing.